a little bit easier to put the screws in there. Now you can see that the screw head is flush with the wood. That's why we counter synced these screws. So as you can see, now it's nicely mounted together and the wood did not split anywhere. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna repeat that process to the other three corners. Okay, so we've already made our box. As you can see on my TV, my box is already installed because I made, I did this all before I filmed this video. So that's why it kind of looks a little weird. But after you are done mounting your four pieces of wood together, you're gonna take the scrap pieces on the longest side. And what you're gonna do with these, is you're gonna put it on the top and the bottom of the TV. The reason why you wanna install these is because you wanna alleviate some of the weight that's gonna be hanging on this wood, or you wanna alleviate the, the weight from the wall with this hanging on the wall. So what you're gonna do is you're going to have your friend center your box that we just made around your television. Once you do that, once it's nice and centered, like this one is, you're gonna draw a 90 degree angle in the corner, all of the corners, all four corners. So just take a pencil, you wanna do the height and then you wanna do the length. So you're gonna just do it in all four corners. Then you're gonna take off your box and you're going to drill in these wood scrappings where you drew your 90 degree angles inside of that, if that makes sense. So you're gonna do it on the top and the bottom. And the reason why you're gonna do that is because once these are already mounted onto the actual wall, your frame is going to sit on top of that like this. If that makes sense. So your frame is gonna nicely just sit on top of that. So once you've already installed the two top and bottom pieces and your box is nice and centered, you want to make sure that you're accounting for your cords that you might have. So once you already have your box on, but not drilled, just on, the two other pieces can be drilled. So at this point, you're going to put the box on those two pieces, then you're going to account for the cords. And once you have this on the wall and you account for where your cords lay, then you can just cut a little piece out of this wood at the bottom. That way the cords have some room to actually like sit here and it's not being pushed against the actual wall. And I can actually probably show you mine so you can see where I cut into my, my shadow box to make room for my actual cords.
right, so after you have the two scrap pieces mounted onto the wall, you want to put your box over those pieces, make sure it's all centered. You can use a level. Make sure it's level, and mine is leveled. So you just want to make sure that the box is leveled. Once this is on, you're going to take screws and you're going to screw the shadow box onto those pieces of scrap that you just uh, mounted onto the wall. So I used three screws and I drilled from the top through the shadow box onto the little piece of wood that we put on the wall. I did that on the top and I also did it on the bottom. So as you're, you can, you're going to also put three screws in here and you're just going to take a drill, take a screw, drill through the shadow box into the piece of scrap wood. Once you've done that, once it's all leveled, take this off. You're going to take some Velcro strips. You're going to stick them on Velcro strips. Is that what? Velcro strips. You're going to stick it onto your shadow box on the corner, the top, each corner in the top and bottom. And then you're also going to align that onto your frame. So let me show you my frame. So this is my frame, but as you can see on the back, my frame has the corresponding Velcro strips to match my shadow box. It's just your hands. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys requested it, here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it is actually very stunning once it's done. I know it probably takes a lot of work, but it's well, well, well worth it. Okay guys, so I am downstairs. This is the second TV that I'm going to be framing. So I had my TV mounted onto my wall and a really cool feature that my house has is there's an outlet on the actual wall at the top behind my television. So I was able to plug in the TV into the wall without having any of the cords show. And I also have a hole in the wall that's already been pre-drilled when the builders made my house. So I ran my HDMI cord through the wall and it's actually coming out down at the bottom. So that's a really cool feature. So all I have to do is just put the plate back onto the wall and I can just hide a lot of my cords. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. It's something that's really, really cool with my house being built, I guess, really new. It's something new that they're doing, builders are doing. Um, but with that being said, I just wanted to show you guys why this frame was different than the one that I have in my bedroom. So with this, this is a stationary mount. Um, I'm not building a shadow box around this TV because of the type of frame that I built or that I bought. So this is the frame that I purchased and as you can see, it actually has like its own shadow box already built into it. So it has a nice little detail on the front and then the three and a half inch uh, shadow box already. Now, the reason why I bought this type of frame is because I just wanted to put the shadow, I just wanted to put the frame on the wall with Velcro strips. And the reason why this is also different is because the frame is not going to be showing on the front side. It's not a lot of detail like the one in my bedroom. So that's why this is just a little bit different and I don't have to go through the process of going uh, through the one that I did upstairs. So as you can see, I can try and hold this up. I'm just going to Velcro this around the television. And of course, you need someone to help you get it centered, which I'm going to have my sister help me do that. But that's the idea of it. 
So if you want one that's a little bit more detailed, I would suggest going the route that we did upstairs. If you want one that's just going to cover the sides and the bottom of the television with less detail, then I would go with something like this. And it's a lot less installation. You just use some of these Velcro strips and stick them on. So what we are going to do is we're going to put both of the Velcro strips, the front and the back, together. And then we're going to take one of the sticky sides off, attach it to the frame, and then we're going to take the other side off and then attach it to the wall. Very simple. So my TV is framed. It doesn't have as much detail. There's nothing on the front of it. It's just basically just a shadow box going around the whole side. It's not very flush because it's not a fully custom frame. So this was just as big as I can get it, um, you know, to fit my, my, my size TV. But this is just a fast, simple way of framing your television. If you don't have the feature where you can put the HDMI cord in the back and run it through or have the plug to your TV, you're going to have to drill uh, holes into the actual frame. That way your cords can come down as well. But it's very simple. It looks very clean. Um, I can give you some close-up shots of this. But yeah, guys, it's very simple. You can do it. It looks really, really, really good once it's all done. It's the most requested video that I've had on YouTube, so this is just for you guys. Thank you for being so patient with me. I wanted to give you just an extra additive, um, you know, just a second frame that I did. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks, guys.